record on it. Hello, hello, everybody. Hope everybody's doing great. Renee here, independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. And I have a fun treat for you today, making kind of a flip card. And with that flip card, I'm going to show you why I love cards and more and kit cards, uh, You especially with the cards and more and um the kit cards, you get so many that they're great for classes if you're an independent demonstrator, but they're also great for you and you can use them up easily using these alternative cards. All right, so let's go see what we're going to do today. It is Thursday, it is 2 p.m. And uh, you can always see me live on my Facebook page, Renee Paper Crafts Business. So check me out if you would like. All right, see you in a second. On Getting everything situated as usual takes a few seconds. Hopefully someday I'll even be faster. Well, I hope you're um, enjoying this live today. And um, what I want to do is show you one of the cards that I am going to be doing in my classes. And it's a flip card. And I'm also going to be talking about why I love what are called cards and more from the catalogs or card kits or card packages with envelopes like this one was. This card, I'm going to give you the dimensions and the pieces. And the good news is, is that whether it's six and a quarter by four and a quarter or ending up at a um, five and a half and four and a quarter, it's going to be the exact same dimensions, all right? So what you want to do is you want to have two, two actual cards, whether it's the six, it, whether it's the cards or more or from a kit, you want two exact same cards, okay? That's number one. So you have two card bases exactly the same. Then what you're going to do is for the one card base, you are going to go ahead and cut off an inch and a quarter off of the front of that card. And then once you have that, uh, once you've cut that off at one and a quarter, again, making sure you know that it's one and a quarter, you are going to cut it off at five. So it's going to be five inches long. Again, doesn't matter. It can be anywhere from six and a quarter to five and a half standard card size. Doesn't matter. Same dimensions. Works perfectly. So anyway, so once you're going to do, once you cut that strip off, all right, once you cut that strip off, what you're going to do is have, take it to five inches and then score at three and three quarters. Okay, score at three and three quarters. All right, and that's what this says. Cut one and a quarter inch off one of the card bases, then go ahead and trim to five inches and score at three and three quarters. And this is going to be your flap. All right, so that's that. For your second card base, what you're simply going to do is cut it in half, cut it on the score line. And for the white part of that card base, okay, you're going to cut a piece by a cardstock white, three and a half by three and a quarter. And all you need is one of those. So what you'll have left from the cards and more is you'll have two pieces like this left, which are great for labels or punch outs. All right. So next um what so once you have that you have that card base that the front the design part what am i going to do with the design part of that second card well what i'm going to do is right here i'm going to go ahead and for this card i needed a pretty branchy stem which I got from the Nature Harvest or Harvest Dyes. This was from the Nature 
harvest bundle and these were the dyes there are tons of dyes and many sets to get these branches but this one is still available and is a beautiful that bundle is a beautiful beautiful flower beautiful statements and um, has some incredible it's a rubber has some incredible dyes all right and there's that dye incredible dyes with some nice label die cuts all right so this is a this is definitely a winner um for a bundle next i use some old heart punch i used an old heart punch which i absolutely love if you ever are able to get a heart punch from stampin up i suggest you just get it and it had been on the clearance rack for a very very long time so maybe you got that all right so um and then of course i got the new oh where'd it go where is my new one hmm. i got the new heart punch from the country oh no i already lost it okay well it, it'll appear it will appear i know it just out of my reach, but I will show you in a second. Uh, so I want to punch out two of those. I would need two of those. That's from the front of that card. And then with that new country heart punch, and I think that's called the country bouquet bundle. Yes, from the country bouquet bundle is what we're looking at. All right. And the Country Bouquet bundle has a punch, and it has the punch that will punch out the heart, this heart, this heart, and these two leaves. And that's what I punched out here, right here. It's a very handy, handy punch. And so that bundle is really great. And I did use this bundle uh, for this card for I will show you right here. Here is how that punches that out. And here just wanted to say, I love the sentiment, just wanted to say, and then I put a little heart here from one that I die cut out, happy Valentine's, all right? So that, that bundle is definitely handy. Okay, so next, um, what we have then, is we have the, um, so we cut this, we have these punched out. Now we're going to use the new bottle punch that is in the annual catalog. This is a great punch. It is the bottle punch. And I went ahead and punched those out. All right. Uh, and I'm going to explain how in just a second. So I use that punch. So we talked about the punches. We talked about the dies. When you do punch out the bottle, you will punch out too. And I'm going to get to that now. Let's talk about the designer paper because we have discussed all the card stock and how we treated that card stock. All right. So here is that piece of white card stock. All right. So now the designer paper, um, I used, all right, I used the um, designer paper that is the Nature's Harvest. That's on, yes, I think this, no. Okay, getting confused. I did not use the Nature's Harvest on here. I use the, does this is the designer paper? Excuse me. I don't think this is the Nature's Harvest. This this designer paper comes from the celebrations. This is the floral celebration one, which is so great. And this is the one I used here for this. I could use on my card right here. That's what I'll talk about. Then I know why I said this. This is from the Har Nature's Harvest designer paper that I used. Um, all right. And that I used right here. All right. Sorry, I'm getting a little confused. <laughs> but that's okay. So anyway, so what I'm going to do, um, I can use um, the, uh, the harvest um, paper, 
if I have it. And I use this one because I like that it has scripty. I thought that was really nice for Valentine's. I can use the new um, um, celebration designer paper, which is the floral one on that first page, which is absolutely lovely. Or I can use the country floral lane designer paper. And um, I am going to use this one, the country floral lane. So if I use the country floral lane to um, do the side strip, I would go ahead and use this side. You know how I constantly use um, both sides of a DSP because they're so complementary. Well, I could have gone ahead and done this for it, but I prefer to use this Harvest um, designer paper because of the script. All right. So anyway, so once I do that, what I have to do is I have to cut a piece that is 12 inches long. Okay, it's gonna be 12 inches long by one and a quarter wide. I'm going to then cut it the entire length of whatever my base is. So if my base is six and a quarter, I will cut this to six and a quarter. So one and a quarter by six and a quarter. But I do start with an entire 12 inch piece and then cut it. And I'll tell you why in a second to six and a quarter. If my card is five and a half, then of course I'll cut it to five and a half. With the six and a quarter, what happens is I am left with another piece and that other piece is what I use to punch out my bottles. Now, what happens if you want to get two bottles out of one card and you want the scripty to be upright, what you wanna do is you're gonna take the one, cut it out correctly so that the script is in the correct direction, cut this off and then punch out another bottle. On the other hand, if you just want to layer the bottles to make it thicker, which I did, all you need to do is cut it in the other direction. And so this is what I'm going to glue together. All right. And so this designer paper was that harvest designer paper from the Nature Harvest Bundle. All right. So just in case you want to use that. So this is where my bottle comes in. All right. So next, so we've cut that piece. We've cut out our designer paper there. Now, typically when I do a project, as I said before, I use all the same papers. This time I was having some fun. So I used the new floral designer paper from the celebration. I thought I could cut that and use that instead. These are exactly three by three and a quarter. And then the white piece, which is, you need two of these. And then the white piece again is simply three and a half by three and a quarter. So it fits nicely. So this fits very nicely, okay? But I decided instead of using this paper, which would be perfect, very similar to this and work very nicely, I decided to use that um, country floral lane designer paper because I feel that since I'm using the stamp set, since I'm using the punch, so I'm using the entire bundle, why not use the paper to show you how all those coordinate and using a cards and more, all right? So with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to start building our card. All right, I think I've explained everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue this down, all right? So I'm gonna try and find the middle. This is my strip that I cut from here. So you see this card is not gonna have much waste. It uses pretty much two cards, which is nice. I think is nice because when you get 20 of them, um, you know, it's it's kind of great. You could, of course, use any cardstock you want. And um, I glued the wrong side. That's okay, because it's gonna go there also. So let me do it this way. 
And I want this to be somewhere about right here in the middle. So I just kind of want it in the middle. I think I would go a little higher than lower. But trying to get the middle, of course, I could use my grid here to help me. And so I'm going to go like that. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Make sure it's straight when you do this. And make sure you're at the edge. That's how I do that. And then now what happens is I'm going to glue this here. I'm going to take my strip. That's the beauty of this. I'm going to take my strip. And I'm going to glue my strip down that I have here, which is six and a quarter by one and a quarter. I was using making sure that my lettering is upright. So that goes that way. Sorry, make sure that goes that way. There's that, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and this is going to go ahead and go on here, all right? So I'm just going to center that. So what happens here is that you're going to see the white cardstock is going to be in between. So the card, so the cardstock is going to be in between. So I'm just going to glue it right here on there. So here you go. I don't want to go too far over because I don't know how, how far over I need to go. So I want that to be centered. That looks pretty darn good. Liking that very much. And again, the beauty of this, I am going to use this paper to keep it with that beautiful sweet and there you go there see how pretty that is and now all i'm going to do is put that right there now i decided that what i do on this side as you saw was put this here which really does work um i also thought that I could use some other paper also, which is from the Abstract Beauty. I don't know if you know about the Abstract Beauty. I'm just showing you some extra stuff. The Abstract Beauty paper, it's a six by four, I believe. Or is it six and a quarter by four? Yeah, it's six. Yeah, it is a six by four, yes. And, um, that six by four, um, it's it, it's beautiful paper and it's on the clearance rack and I get it. And, and this, this is just gorgeous as well. But I think to go ahead and use up all of that, those two card stocks, we'll go ahead and use this instead. All right. So I'm just going to glue this on now. I'm going to make sure I'm going to erase this right here just to make sure I don't see it and make sure I don't see it. The rest I know I won't. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that right here. Now what I'm going to do is I did not put much glue here because eventually I'm going to need to slide this down here. All right. So I glued what I decided to do. I didn't quite glue up here so that I could move this. All right. So I will need that. That's why I needed two of these hearts. So that stays kind of there. 
All right. So, and I could have put that on afterwards, but um, at the end, but that's okay. So those are those two pieces like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I'm going to glue these two together, making sure I've got the right one. The right one on top. And that just gives it a little thickness. That was given from actually my downline is the one who gave me that idea. Okay, so if we're looking at the card, we saw also that I used this and that I used this, all right, the heart. And so what I wanna do is when I do this, so I'm going to put the bottle here and I'm going to put the heart there. All right. And then I'm going to put my beautiful stem right here. And glue this. I did not glue this down yet. <laughs> I'm going to put that right here because I do need all of it to be supported. So um, that's going to have to happen. So what's going to go is I'm going to take that like this. All right. And I might as well glue that on there because I do need that support. So we'll go here and I put that here. I can go like that right in the middle. And then I'm going to go ahead and I can go up a little bit, something like that, all right? And so that'll give me support. So what I'm going to do is I am gonna cut this off because I know that's not gonna happen. That piece is not going to stay there. So I'm gonna cut that one off. And I could probably cut this one off. And then I can cut that a little bit off. I don't have to worry. Then I'm going to take this and put that right there. And I, I want it really on here so that it's completely supported. So now it's my usual trick. This time, instead of using a sponge and a dauber and all of that, I'm just going to go ahead and put my little bit of glue there. And there, and there. And what I do is I just look, I just look at until I get that little dot like that, and then I start moving it around. That's what I do, it does work for me. That looks pretty good. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to set my bottle on here. And what I'm going to do, I'm trying to decide where I want to put that bottle, which is just about here. See, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue just the bottom part here, because that's the safest thing to do. Put it right up here in the center. And then I'm going to go ahead. And do I see two people are watching? Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And then I'm going to bring that bottle down to the tip of the heart, it should be centered, which it is. And then there we go, all right? So there's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and what I used is I used, oh, now I can go ahead and, and put that other one in. Now that I know how tall it is, I can go ahead I and put it in. I thought I left it unglued. It's important that it be unglued. Oops. 
And what I should have done again is not put this piece on yet. There it is. That's what the spatula is great for. That I was also taught all my tricks of the trade were always taught. They're like that. And then I could have easily, if I would have done it correctly and put this in first, <laughs> I could have glued that and then glued that down on there, which would have been great. And now I'm going to put some glue here and just here, just like that. And that'll be glued down. So that's what I wanted to do to cover that side. Okay. Okay. So that's why I needed that. Okay. So um, we're doing pretty good in that fun. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to put this in here. I did like this. And this. I'm going to have to decide how I want those. So that for sure goes like that, and that goes like that. And it's just a little more decoration. And again, I'm just gonna glue that on there. A good use, a good use of that um, paper. I think of those cards, that card, those card bases. I think that's great. What a great way to do a class. What do you all think? There we go. All right. We got that and that and that and that. So what is left? All right, are my little wonderful embellishments. I did get these embellishments. Um, they are the Loose Daisy embellishments from the sunshine, rain and sunshine. They're, they're wonderful. Um, they're absolutely wonderful. And um, what I do then and is go ahead and just, again, just take a dot note. I just look until I see a dot of glue there coming out. Just a dot. I put my dot there. Ba -ba. Didn't quite have it. And then I'm going to put a flower right there. And what I do is when it's double forked, I kind of put it over both of them so that it doesn't get too crowded. So something like that. And then I'm gonna put a yellow one in there. And I'm going to get that dot out. Put that dot of glue right there. And I'm going to put one right here. I'm gonna take another yellow one. This is a small one. Wait for a dot. If it gets too much, just suck it back in because all you want is a little bit. Put one right here. See if I have some more bigger ones maybe, or maybe just some more little ones. I can put one right here. That's three. Well, let's leave it for three and let's see how we do. Now, the other idea after that was I could take, since these are flowers, I can take, I have a little flower punch, and instead of using the, um, instead of using the hearts, not doing too much of an overkill of hearts, I could go ahead and use the flowers. 
see if I have, I do have another flower. I do. Let's take that one and put that there. And let's take that one and maybe put it right here at this point. Again, now, now these would be the flowers versus the hearts. And I think, you know, that pretty much does work. I can put another flower here and I could get a little bit of a bigger one. I think there is a bigger one. I am using my handy dandy tool pick. I like that. I like that. So I'm going to take that one for sure and put them there. I'm going to show you just one more thing just to give you ideas. So I did like that right there. Now we can do something like that. Oops. We can do something like that. And that looks just as cute as the other. Or we can use maybe instead of red hearts, let's see what white hearts might look like just to see. Instead, oh, my dog is having a good day. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that one on, on that corner there. I might have to go further down. I'm taking out some more of my hearts to get different sizes. There you go. Takes a little bit of work. That looks really cute, eh? I do like that in the white. So I think I'll go with that. So I'll take again my pick. So this is my flip card. My little pick tool. Sticky end is not as sticky as I would like it to be. <laughs> Again, just watch the tip of your clue. And as soon as you see it coming out, you stop and just put a dot there. That's all you need is that dot. You're gonna glue that right there. I like them to be centered. There you go, we got one more. Again, wait for that little glue. There it is, little dot, that's all it needs. Oopa. And a steady hand. <laughs> there it goes, there you go. So I should put one there. But I, I do want something over here. I might have to put a bigger heart there because that is not going to do it for me. So I'm going to take a bigger heart and just put it right here, which will work for me, and hide. But I want to hide. Here's a good size. There you go.
There you go. Just a dot of glue. And now I can cover both of those. And that makes me happy. Make sure everybody's down. There you go. Isn't that sweet? And so then all I'm going to do is again, simply from that country bouquet is use my happy Valentine's, just wanted to say, and then place a heart inside. So that's all that's left. The color is mint macaron. That is the color that was used as far as the ink goes. And um, in this one in particular, this is, was the uh, sweet sorbet as far as the red goes. So there they are. There are those cute little cards. And um, I can put another, I see another one here that I could do right here. I could do one coming out right here. That looks great. Oh, and I forgot these right here. Oh, I've got more to go. I've got another one here. This one had a lot more branches. I didn't cut off that branch. And then I would put the flower probably here on that one. That would work better like that. Yes, that works better. So it goes out there and there and probably maybe a heart right here for balance. Yes, that's what I would do. Just like that. What do you say? All right. Thanks for watching. Um, this is my flip card and um, use your cards and more. I love them. They're very helpful. Um, they make life easy for constructing cards and for demonstrators who want to make cards for classes. All right. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, don't forget to heart, say something, tell me what you think. Um, How do you like this new country lane and its punch? Look at that. Look at that beautiful punch. All right. And uh, that stamp set, a great, great bundle with that wonderful punch. Okay. And here is that punch that I finally found. There it is. That's the bundle. <laughs> and then this is some of that wonderful paper that's in that card stack. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.